All right, now it's time to get into AEW <laughs> Rampage. Yeah. See you, fuck. See you, fuck. First dance. See you, fuck. See you, fuck. See you, fuck. See you, fuck. Dude. 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 James. James. Dude. Dude. Man. There dude. is. Bro. There are not many times uh, in wrestling, at least in the past maybe 10 years or so, where like... I feel like I can pin, like I can point at that and say, "Wow, that's why I fell in love with this." But like, this is this was one of them. This meant a lot to me personally. I know. I, I, every time I think of CM Punk, I always think of how he <laughs> got you back into wrestling. Yeah. So what um, happened here, James? What actually happened here? There's a lot. There's a lot of ways they could have done this. Um, I think that a lot of people were expecting uh, something a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I can say that this is easily. The best way they could have done this. I don't know what else they could have did. This was because the way. This to was do perfect. It. Yeah, this is perfect. The only other like I wouldn't. It would have been worse. But the only other way to do it is have somebody interrupt him, and then that Fuck starts that. the program. Fuck all that shit. Fuck heat when it comes to this yeah. man. <laughs> Punk Let, comes like, out. Oh yeah, yeah here's like, what God. happens. Nee 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 nee. And then it's and it's MJF and he goes, Fuck, dude. Fuck. Yeah, that heat. would not like, be not good. Not everything needs to. Be, uh, I saw so many of that. Like, oh man, they should have this guy come out and cut him off and this and that. Fuck. Yeah, the that. number one thing I this saw is was Darby. Uh, moment, man. MJF comes out and ruins it. Like, no, no, no. fuck that, man. Let this is for the fucking. Fa this is a service. This is fan service one on one. You, they give the fucking people what they want. It's Excalibur's line. He says it every goddamn week. This give was, the people what they want, and they did. This is perfect. Like sometimes yes. you just have to say you're gonna do something and actually do it, and then wrestling fans will fucking love it. The show starts. We of course get the. It's Friday. You know what that means. They sit there. I'm sweating. The crowd this is, happening. <laughs> is chanting CM Punk so, so loud. Dude, so loud. 15,000 in unison here, probably more, honestly. Yeah. Just chanting the roof off this fucking place. And they just sit there and they pan out to the crowd. Oh, man. They just pan out and they just sit there. No one's talking. No one's saying anything. It's just the crowd chanting CM Punk. And then all of a sudden, you hear the static come over the loudspeakers. Fuck. The lights start flickering red and blue, I think. And then yeah, you look at the screen, and you can see something going on. And everyone's trying to figure out, like, this is, you know, it's a little different static than we're used to. Everyone's trying to figure out what's going on. And then Cult of Personality starts playing. Oh nee, 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 nee. CM Punk comes on this damn Titan Tron, the Contron, if you will. The Contron. The, the roar of that crowd. When the fucking cult of personality rift hit, is all timer stuff. Like the crowd, they couldn't make the no song any louder with because like this Dude, this you, crowd was you, drowning you the song out. You could not hear. You could not hear yeah. the song. <laughs> yeah, it was drowning out the song from how happy people were to just fucking hear this song play in person. I got goosebumps just thinking about it. Dude, I've watched this a lot. Yes, I've watched it at least twenty times. No joke. Not memeing. I, I can't even imagine what was going through his head. That I'm sure be, he started having a yeah. little doubts too about coming sure. out. You know, I'm sure he's like, was this the right thing to do? Or yeah, you know, like, will they still, you know, like me like they did before? In the in the media scrum they did after, uh, Punk was like Eddie Kingston was like. Uh, he was like talking to Kingston. He was like, he thought he was like, you nervous? And Punk was like, yeah. He said, what are you nervous for? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're fucking CM Punk. Why are you yeah, nervous? Yeah, no, man. <laughs> but that's how we feel about him. It's like. God, I can't imagine. Like seven years is a long fucking time, man. Like he walked. He was just gone. He was gone. It was hard to explain to my wife. She's like, I don't get it. Like I don't understand. I'm like, you will never understand it. Like I can't explain this. No, why this it's, guy is it's, so as cool right. as he is. We tried to watch. We watched the CM Punk documentary, but she still didn't like get it. I'm like, you just. I don't really know how. I don't know what you could compare this to outside of wrestling. This this feeling. I don't really know. Like sports Michael Jordan coming really, back to NBA, I, maybe I guess so. On the Wizards, but not even. Yeah, not like, the Wizards. <laughs> when he went, the year he went to play baseball and then came back. Remember? I guess. <laughs> yeah, I just like I don't know, man. Like I, but I, I don't know enough about sport. Like, there's not really like they don't tease that. You know what I mean? That's not like a like that's you would know that. You know, like this is at this point unique it was either, to wrestling. I feel like at this point it was either he's coming back or he's never coming back to wrestling ever again. Yeah. Yeah, and, that was and it. even even with all the seeds that they planted and pretty much blatantly said it, even while 
I'm staring at this screen, listening to the music with titantrons of taped fist. I've just been so beaten down <laughs> these over the years <laughs> that I still wasn't that sure. Is gonna disappoint <laughs> I you? still wasn't sure. I was staring at the tunnel. I was like, "Who the fuck is that? Who is it? Oh my god!" <laughs> It was a very emotional night in the uh, James house. <laughs> yeah, I bet, bro. Me too, man. <laughs> Fuck. And uh, yeah, like he walked out on the stage, and like you just look in his, just look in his eyes, and what do you see? You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> cult of personality, Dude, of course. Your <laughs> name has C. Your name, your name has C eminent for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah I mean, that's uh, you know, other than like a few TNA things back in the day, and. Whatever I caught on TV with Jeff Hardy or, or something yeah. like, yeah. pretty much from two thousand like six to two thousand eleven, I just I did not care about wrestling. Like I yeah. just didn't didn't care at all. And uh, this dude like single handedly this I wouldn't even be making videos without this dude. Sure, like, I, I wouldn't I yeah. wouldn't be here. The deadline wouldn't exist. Not, yeah. None of the, like he changed my life forever. Like my whole career is around this dude's one singular night where. He cut a promo. That's good. Yeah. It's so ridiculous to think <laughs> that about. That is crazy. Know? Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. So I mean, this guy is, he's he, a lot. He, com he comes out here and just like, God, even better, man. No one, like, ex you could you could barely, like, Excalibur said CM Punk's in all elite wrestling. You could barely fucking hear him. That's how no, loud could, this place you could was. Not. Dude. It was crazy. Like, they had, they, they were commentating for a bit. There was a real, I've never seen them use this shot before. It was a shot to, like, the left of the stage where he's just, like, kind of staring out into the crowd, like, over the camera. And you can see the people flipping out behind him. I was like, wow, that's a fucking crazy that was shot. A, uh, that was like a TNA jib cam kind of shot. Yeah, TNA, it, it, like that's a, exactly. I don't know if it was a drone or a jib or whatever, but TNA there was another, definitely. There was another guy that comes into the shot with a camera that you can see, so it's yeah. obviously beyond that. I was like, wow, this is fucking cool, man. And he's just like soaking it in, and he fucking comes Dude, out he, of the ramp, and he's before, hugging motherfuckers. Before, like, before he comes out, he sits there on the ramp and just like yeah. digests it in, puts his head down, and is like feels the moment. It's so crazy. I can't imagine how that felt, dude. That like... If you could bottle that up, dude. Oh my god, dude. Sell because it. Jesus. you have to imagine, like, like James was saying earlier. Are, am I going to get the reaction? I think. Like, do people still care about me? Like, yeah. You have those doubts, and then that, fuck, dude. You think Ryback thought of it? <laughs> <laughs> Punk He's sucks. eating chicken wings in his car. See a puke. PG Legend Ryback. <laughs> so he comes down. Hugging motherfuckers. There's a sign that says, "If Punk is here, we riot," which was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's he hugs awesome. that guy. He hugs that guy. He's like, yeah, hey, he hugs yeah. that. He hugs that dude. He turns around. He sees a bunch of people flipping out on the other side. He points at him. I'm gonna jump. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, gonna jump. He runs up. Fucking jumps into the crowd. The crowd fucking loses it just for this dude jumping into a sea of people. They catch this, him. Actually, they actually catch him. I'm screaming at my TV. I. uh they could have just had him do this entrance for a half hour. This could have been a one hour CM Punk talk special <laughs> and I would have been happy. Yeah, I would have been I, fucking yeah. so Me happy. Too, yeah, for sure. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. So like, CM Punk finally makes it down to the ring here. The <laughs> chants are... Definitely. They're, they're not... This pop, I, and I, I don't mean to undersell it here because we talked a little, a little bit over it, but this pop is maybe one of the biggest pops I've ever heard and I've watched wrestling a long time yes dude. <laughs> it is it is so insane that like my like i have a subwoofer underneath my desk and it was just fucking smacking man it yeah was i guess the only thing i could crazy. compare is like the glass break with stone cold sometimes the invasion like, entrance or the invasion one or when mick foley wins a title yeah and glass but break that, that's the same roar like it's the yeah. like that's the only there's not many times where like there's that kind of like just Fucking everyone is just losing it. Like that doesn't happen very often, and that was one of those times. So he makes it to the ring. He grabs a microphone. Do I have everybody's attention now? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could think about. I but know, uh, that was awesome. His first line here is, "You guys really know how to make a kid feel like Britt Baker in Pittsburgh." What a goddamn genius this bastard is! <laughs> Dude. That's just so smart, man. Like immediately, like melding in with the team like he it, it was like wow it, like he could have said anything to start that promo and it would have been infamous and he puts Britt Baker over her. like what the fuck he's gonna yeah. have a good time here man this Hell is gonna be a yeah. good time I knew it right from the start so the like, fuck are we <laughs> yeah. we're gonna yeah. have a fucking good time oh boy gosh, <laughs>
Uh, so CM Punk then goes on. He's like, I'm just winging this. I don't know. He's like, I, it's been seven years, man. I'm just winging this. Yeah. He, go, he goes on. He says that uh, he actually announces that he is going to be like full time wrestling for AEW. Yeah. That's, Wednesday, Friday. I couldn't believe it. I actually like took a double take. I was like, because <gasps> I, I thought he was going to work like, you know, 10, 12, maybe 15 days yeah. a year. He's going to work every like not every show obviously he's not gonna be there all the sure. time but no the, the idea is that he's gonna be a full-time on the roster guy for them that's, that's insane crazy like they're yeah. gonna have so many cm punk town halls it's gonna be insane <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know what and for now i'm okay with it <laughs> yeah uh, absolutely uh so then cm punk goes on and he even goes on to uh, apologize for uh anything that he may have done while he was gone from wrestling, uh, he apologized to, to individuals, to the fans, whoever it may be, uh, any personal decisions that he had made. He was uh, just apologizing for that. And he goes on to say that, you know, he was never going to get healthy staying in the same place that got him sick in the first place. Which was killer. Yeah. And that then there was, was a, he had a few killer lines here, man. That was a stab, right? Right that in was, there. Yeah, that was a, into the jagger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was And it's okay, it's okay, Punk, I forgive you. <laughs> yeah, yeah so no problem, bro. You're good. Yeah, I bought your house. So. <laughs> quieter, fucking quieter. Quieter. <laughs> you guys, can I tell you guys a story? And the crowd just goes, yeah, please, <laughs> you motherfucker. Oh, man, that was really good. <laughs> I thought he was going to do the snake promo. I was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> he goes on to say that, uh, you know, he felt like he had to leave. He didn't want to, but he had to. He said, I left ring of honor <laughs> i was like yeah i was like what Whoa. i was like oh yeah, oh, yeah. as as uh also he reveals he's got a new t-shirt and he sits down in the he ring he sits down until also one of the biggest pops in this just cross like in the ring and the biggest pop a, ever of all time. a guy just sitting down got a gigantic pop just massive wow this is you could feel like i like i just knew i'm like i'm never gonna forget any of this I don't, I don't no think, man i just one of those moments like i don't think i ever gonna forget this that was cool i, I was like damn i really wish i would have gone to this <laughs> I know, man. I was like, man, I wish I was there for this because this was such a moment. Um, but yeah, he started talking about Ring of Honor. He's like, you know, uh, he he said that he made that place a place where people could work and get paid, and he felt like he left Ring of Honor in a good place. The summer Punk angle was super hot. Um, a lot of guys there were really elevated from that angle, and you know, he left it in a good place when he ended up going to WWE. Um, he said, I'm one of you guys. You know what I mean? So the way that he looks at it, he said, August 13th, 2005, he left professional wrestling. He said, August 20th, 2021, <laughs> I'm back. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm back. God, dude. Just like with, saying it without saying it, he was just like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> dude, oh, man. I was listening to the scrum afterwards, too, man. This guy, oh, they're going to do so much with fun the, stuff. Man. Tony Khan, that was an hour-long scrum. Tony Khan didn't stop smiling once. <laughs> he was so happy. That dude loves what yeah, he does. Yeah, I love looking over to Tony Khan. Yeah. He's like shaking. So Punk, cool. Punk says, yeah, I'm an AEW guy, just nonchalantly. And Tony Khan almost backflips out of his chair. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah, because at awesome. one point they ask him, are you going to work with like Impact and other stuff? And then he's like, I'm an AEW guy. And Tony Khan smiles. And he goes, yeah. He he's goes, like, he yeah, goes, you know what? I'll, I'll talk to Tony. He's like, you know, if he wants me to work the G1, I'll do that. And Tony's like, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's a lot of matches. matches. He's like, yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so CM Punk, up. CM yeah. Punk goes on and he talks about wanting to work with the young talent. And he said there's a couple of scores he wants to sell in the locker room. And he just looks down at the ring for a second. It pans up to the rafters. And he goes, Darby <laughs> Allen. Yeah, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Darby Allen and Sting are hanging up there. Darby's got like the... These trees painted on his face and shit. He looks insane. Just an insane looking face. He looks fucked, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Sting's and, hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, Sting's I'm here too. And CM Punk's like, look, Sting's in there. <laughs> uh, CM Punk says, hey, man, I see you. You're a good guy. You know, you jump out of airplanes and shit, you weird fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're a tough guy. He said, he said, I'm here to help Darby. I thought that was funny. Was yeah. Like, I'm here to help you not be an idiot. Yeah. Uh, and you're first on the list. You know, you're a daredevil and Darby. There's nothing more dangerous than wrestling CM Punk. <laughs> Except I, <laughs> wrestling CM Punk in Chicago. Huge <laughs> <laughs> pop. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Woo! I was hoping Darby said, oh, yeah, and jump from the rafters. <laughs> yeah, that would have been nuts. Like, it comes down. Yeah, like, I'll yeah, show you. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so apparently, September 5th, 
at All Out live on pay per view, CM Punk versus Darby Allen. Yo, <sighs> we will be there. I know, in person. dude. I was like, oh my god, we will oh be there in god. person to see CM Punk's first wrestling match. It's fucking over seven years. I'm so fucking excited. I wow. I I can't. I can't we tell you this. how we deserve this. <laughs> the smile on my face during this whole thing was just so. It's, I looked so stupid the whole time looking at this screen. I was just like, "Wow, this is." Dude, I was. I had goosebumps for a disgusting amount of time. Like, I was so fired up for. I was like, "This is unbelievable, man." Truly, and he also said, "Hey, you guys want yourself a Shia <laughs> Punk ice cream bar?" <laughs> Dude, I, didn't we didn't we talk about that? We did yeah. talk about that. I was like, oh my god. He said that he came up with that. By the way, he's like, yeah, I think that would have been pretty cool. You know, like yeah, you, you know what's so fucking cream. funny, dude? Is like, remember we were talking? I don't know what we were talking about. I think it was you that said it, James. That you said like, if Vince had just given Cody and Goldust match two <laughs> on WrestleMania, yeah, they none WrestleMania. of this would happen. Yeah, none of it would happen. If oh, Vince fuck. just gave CM Punk his fucking ice cream bars, <laughs> this could have all been avoided. <laughs> That's so crazy. The domino effect, like, it's is crazy, literally man. insane. It's yeah. literally insane. Dude, like, there's, there's an a alternate key world. Moments. There's an alternate world where the Young Bucks signed with NXT. <laughs> there yeah, is, yeah. Of course, and yeah. Cody still Cody never leaves. The Bucks go to Bucks still go to NXT. Yeah, man. Ken Kenny's probably fucking still in Japan. Yeah, they're Kenny's all eating CM Punk ice cream Japan. bars. Yeah, yeah, man. Like Punk's retired. <laughs> like he's he's gone, <laughs> but he stayed by that point. Fuck. Yeah, man. And I'm not watching wrestling anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that doesn't happen because James is gone. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. So. Unbelievable, man. Wow. Dude, Unreal. AEW, the, CM Punk trended for like two days after that, I think. Like, yeah, straight two days. Their their YouTube video they put up on on YouTube got a is million trending. in like two hours. I feel it was like trending it was. like number three now. It's still like to this day. I think it's still number three trending. Shop AEW and... was down for like 24 hours. I for me like. I couldn't get on there to get a shirt. So they better have the fucking punk shirts at the shows we go to, okay? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. I fucking need them. I heard they're printed on next level too, so. On fucking real, man. I like I still almost can't believe it. It's still yeah. like yeah. Uh, Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna react when we're in Chicago and his fucking music hits. Dude, dude, I'm gonna hit I know, Tony with the CD and fucking go to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with the go to hell. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. I'm excited yeah. for that. I hope they go straight from Paul White versus QT Marshall into CM Punk versus <laughs> <laughs> Darby Allen. So the next step here is how long, how long until the American Dragon shows up? At all out. I'll fucking come. <laughs> oh my god! You imagine, you Dude, imagine all out, Daniel Brian Danielson, the American I Dragon. Mean, is it Flight of the Valkyries or is it Final Countdown? It's Final Countdown. It's got to be Final Countdown, it, it, right? It, not only is it Final <laughs> Countdown. <laughs> oh my god! I'll fucking I'll headbutt Tony and do the elbows. <laughs> see, him, see him, dude. Punk. After after Punk beats Darby, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my, see him, Punk dude. beats Darby Allen, and then you just hear Final Countdown start, and oh then someone my. goes, "I would lose my fucking shit if that happened." Yeah, dude, I don't even. I know. think it, I mean, I it, would headbutt it, my or head through a wall. Do you think they would have him come out after Kenny beats Christian? Comes yeah, out at the end of CM Punk and Darby Allen, speaking <laughs> of scores to settle. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> if the uh, fucking, bro, if the uh, American man. Dragon shows up at All Out, I don't know how I'm gonna act, man. <laughs> uh, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> that was too much, dude. <laughs> yeah. You guys gotta calm dude, down, man. I will literally give you the go to hell. Like, not even joking. I would literally just pick you up and do that. That's how <laughs> excited then, I would be. On top of that, the feed shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of unfinished business. Where it is, uh, little Bray Wyatt might be taking a trip. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. That's the rumor. That's the, the rumor. That's, that's, the, that's the rumor. He is he clean? Coming. He might be, yeah, I don't clean know about clean. Clean, clean, clean. clean if he's clean. <laughs> clean fiend. He's the Gaba ghoul now. <laughs> That's, awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, man. Uh, this was, I mean, this was like a 20 minute segment. I wish it was an hour, honestly. Dude, there's very few things in wrestling nowadays that actually make me smile and get excited and happy and like 
crazy yeah. out of my mind. And that they just did it. They did everything they should have done there. Gave Punk the time, and it was fucking awesome. He can't. I mean, like like James said, you know, he he, he probably you know wasn't sure, but we remembered you, motherfucker. We you fucking damn right. <laughs>